Welcome. We are here to present Tub, a new system of washing clothes, and our group consists of Jonah, Nick, and Lee. 2008 statistics shows that 97% of households in Australia have a washing machine at home. With an average use of 120 litres of water, washing machines account to 15% of the water usage at home. Statistics also shows that 28% of Australian households have already fixed rainwater tanks at home. Future trends are moving towards a more inclusive environment where communities will come together to take steps toward climate change. This will bring a renewed focus on localising water network systems. More and more people will use alternative water resources more efficiently and also we will see more and more human interaction within communities. We'll be touching on environmental and social sustainability issues in our clothes washing system. User-centered design methods like user observation, analysis, site visits and interviews were done for our research. Here we will show the existing systems map illustrating where water is used during the laundry process. Rainwater is collected and stored in reservoirs which will then be recycled and treated before being pumped into metropolitan retail water businesses, which then supply the water to factories, schools, businesses and homes, where it then flows to drains and sewerages. Rainwater is also collected through gutters which travels into local water tanks and then to housing areas. There is then the option to either wash at home or use a laundromat service. Washing at home consists of firstly separating the clothes and then choosing to wash either by hand or machine. There is also another option to use the laundromat services where users can choose to use coin laundromats or dry cleaners. I do not have enough space to have a washing machine at home and I hit the high cost of the electricity bills and the water bills. Yeah, yeah when the machine breaks down, I really hate it when I have to you know, take it from the home to the pen shop and back again. You know, it's so troublesome. That's very informative. We would actually like to know if you encounter any problems when using a laundromat. Oh yeah, I do. Uh, you know, when uh, it's late at night after work and I have to do my laundry, um, there are people who are drunk and they do stupid things to your clothes. Yeah, the other problem is that um, when I run out of coins and uh, I have to find other ways to get these gold coins. The worst is when my clothes get mixed up with others. She's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to dinner. But she always knows her place. She's got style, she's got grace. She's a winner. Presenting TAP, a new system of washing clothes. Textile underwater base. This new system will collect rainwater from households in our chosen area, where every household will be fitted with a rainwater tank. It will 
then flow from the gutters to be equally distributed to the home's rainwater tanks and to tub's water catchment area. This collected water will then be used in tub for washing clothes. People in the community can walk, drive or catch public transport to tub to do their laundry. Firstly, swipe card and choose load type. Clothes are then separated and put in cup, clothing underwater pot. Users can then choose to walk around tub to look at the clothes washing processes or can choose to go home. Users will then receive an SMS informing when clothes are done washing. Clothes are then collected by swiping the card again to identify the user, allowing them to receive their clean clothes. If the clothes are dirtier, tub can start the process with soaking. Otherwise, the cups will go straight to the first rinsing section where clothes will be transported and rinsed by the water jets. To keep the water clean, the water will be constantly filtered section where the clothes will be cleaned. To remove the soap from the water, reverse osmosis will be applied. Cups will continue to the second rinse area where soaps will be rinsed thoroughly. Cups will then go into the drying area where a big fan will spin the cups in high speed and then it will be moved to the heating compartment to be fully dried. Finally, the cups will be kept in the locker systems where people can collect their clothes. promotes communal washing as well as educating the young generation about the importance of water conservation. TUP also saves water by using collected rainwater from communities. We are also eliminating issues of getting change by using swipe card systems. And also, precious time is saved by not having to wait when clothes are being washed because of our SMS system which will indicate to users when clothes are done washing. Our chosen location for implementing TAP is Mitcham. With an average of 80mm to 100mm of rainfall, Mitcham will be able to sustain TAP even in year 2032. Mitcham started the Rating and Incentive Scheme to reward their residents when they save water and energy. This is also a contributing factor for choosing Mitcham because the city is already making initiatives towards improving the environment.
behavioural change is important for any new system to succeed. We are hoping to change people's views about collective washing and its ability to save water.